Guys, it is just a matter of days until I arrive in the United States of America and I cannot wait. It is so exciting. I am about to reveal my whole travel schedule in the next coming days. In fact, the next video you see on this channel after this one will include details of my travel plans for the United States of America. It's going to be epic. I've been planning day by day at the moment, booking things up, which has been a bit of a challenge for me because I'm not the most organized, but we're getting there and I'm very excited about it. Can't wait to come and see some of you guys. Can't wait to meet as many people as possible and see a lot of different places. That happens next week. I arrive in your country and I'm going on a tour. So I thought in today's video, I would do a bit of a teaser because a few months ago now, and it was a few months ago now, in January, I received a box from someone from Santa Fe in New Mexico. I opened it and I filmed the unopening of that box with a lot of different goodies and I forgot to post it. Simple as that. But since that video is sat on my hard drives, doing nothing, and we are going to America next week, I thought now would be a great time to post that video as a bit of a teaser on the lead up to my trip to the USA next week. So thank you very much for watching. Great to see you here. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. My statistics tell me that only 20% of you people watching right now are subscribers. If you are one of the 80% are not subscribed, join the 20% club, hit subscribe, it is free. And then you won't miss any of my videos. It will be great to have you on board permanently. All right, let's go. Santa Fe in New Mexico. I'm gonna go back in time. My hair is gonna be a lot longer than it is now. I might have even had a couple more pounds on me then than I have now, which is good. But let's do that time warp and let's head back a couple of months. I received this giant box in the post from someone. I don't know who it's from at the moment. I'm gonna have a wee look. Um, but I received this in the mail and I can see here it's come all the way from Santa Fe. Santa Fe is in California, I think. I love when I receive boxes from people. People send me boxes from all around the world and it's just always such a bit like Christmas trying to open them and seeing what's inside them. It's always a bit of a mystery and I really love that kind of interaction with you guys. Uh, and I just want to say thank you very much to all the people who have sent me stuff over the years. Always gratefully appreciated and I hugely, hugely respect and appreciate the time you've went to put these boxes together and the, the cost you've went through, the expense to actually post these as well. I can see this costs quite a lot of money. I can tell you it has come from Michelle Ritchie in Santa Fe. Where's, let me see, Santa Fe, is that California? Very, very wrong. Santa Fe is New Mexico's capital city. How did I not know that? I've never been to New Mexico, that's why. Um, but that's pretty cool. Founded as a Spanish colony in 1610. One of the great things about doing this, these type of videos and opening these boxes you guys send me is the fact that it always teaches me a little bit more about your culture of the places you live and the cities you live and the, the states that you live in and the countries you live in. And it makes me want to visit. So, you know, let's see, I'll get into this box and probably by the end of it, I will be wanting and starting to plan to visit Santa Fe in New Mexico. Let's get into it. I've got a huge pair of scissors. This one definitely will require it because it's well packaged. All the way from Santa Fe to me in Scotland. How cool is that? There's stuff literally bulging out of the lid of this box. And I can tell you it is enormously heavy as well. So there's lots of stuff in here. Right in the top there is a leaflet about something from Santa Fe. A lovely postcard from Santa Fe. Of Santa Fe. It looks lovely. Michelle has um, written me a lovely letter and I usually don't read these letters out because they usually contain like personal details and all the rest of it. But thank you very much, Michelle. I've read this and I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the sentiment and the fact that you've taken a long time to put this together and put so much thought and effort into this box. Amazing. So many kind and generous people who watch my channel, you guys watching, you're all just great. And that's why I love making these videos and that's why I'm not gonna stop. Lots of protective paper and back wrapping, which is all good. What do I bring out first? Pork rinds. I love pork rinds. Uh, we actually have them in Brazil when I was there uh, and I really like them. So I'm pretty sure these are gonna be good. Not gonna open anything just yet, maybe at the end, just because I don't want like to create more mess than is necessary at this point. I know I'm going to like this. This is Senor, Senor Murphy, the candy maker, red chili peanut brittle. And I did receive this just a little bit after Christmas when I was away in Brazil. And it's been sat for a while, so hopefully none of this stuff is out of date. But um, best before May 2022, so we're all good. 
from Senior Murphy, and this stuff. Chili peanuts. Definitely gonna like them. I'll line everything up at the end so you can see all the stuff that's in here. Love Santa Fe New Mexico t-shirt. That is pretty epic. I love it and I like the bright colours. Ho 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 ho! Now we're laughing. Now I can make my own stuff from Santa Fe. Look at this. This is like a, a chili seasoning from Santa Fe. Los Chilenos. Santa Fe chili seasoning. Oh, that is going to be good. That's going to go in everything for me. I love a bit of spice and a bit of heat. More so now than I used to. Um, but I'm definitely enjoying putting stuff like this in and I'm going to really, really like putting this. And it's got an expiry date of over a year, so that's perfect. Field Guide magazine. All about the outdoors of Santa Fe. This stuff has been wrapped really well. Oh my word, this is cool. And this is going to make me popular with Tekka as well. My other half. Okay, first of all, love this. I thought it was coffee, but it is actually pancake mix. Santa Fe pancake mix, one. But it doesn't end there, and this is going to definitely make me popular with my other half, who is a coffee addict, and I like coffee as well. Look at this. New Mexico Pion coffee native to the southwest. That is just perfect. Love it. Keep sending me your coffees because we love coffee, especially Taka from Brazil, but we both love coffee and we go through it all. All the stuff people send to me, all the coffees, we go through it. As always, and as customary with the boxes I received from America is the beef jerky. Always good and always surprising and always different. Good stuff. Mmm, these are gonna be good. These are pistachios. I should say as well, if any of you guys do want to send me a box from where you are from, um, I'll put the link to my address, postal address, down below. A lot of bubble wrap though. A bottle of something in here. I love bottles. And of course, it's another bottle of something that I love. And I love when you guys send me, because you guys have the best of this. All throughout North America, not just the USA. Pure maple syrup, perfect for pancakes. Love it. Perfect. You guys know me too well, I've got a sweet tooth. I can't help myself. New Mexico in the wild, look at that. Look at that picture, that is a desert with rocks. These are all places I've seen on Breaking Bad only. I always thought that'd be cool to go there one day, so... It's on the list, look at that, that's awesome. Some kind of herb. I thought for a wee minute there it smelled a wee bit suspicious, but um, my sense of smell was deceiving me. This is a scent. You burn this. Sage, mugwort, cedar, juniper, ridge. You burn it and it makes a nice smell in your house. Interesting. This, Michelle wrote in this, this is from Santa Felipe Pueblo. Pueblo, and has a more recent Spanish influence with emphasis on corn central to the Pueblo people. This is like a, wow, like jewelry or something. It's got like a leather band, wait till you see this. See that, focused in nicely there. That is awesome, that is beautiful. But I'm not 100% sure how it goes, like, because it's got this leather piece and then it's got, like, the, the togs at the end of it um, and then that jewel in the middle. I thought at first it might be, like, a hat belt or something, a help, hat buckle, but now I'm not sure. But it's very intricate and, and it's beautiful and I love it. Look at the colour on that, bright blue. I'm just not 100% sure, but I think it might be, like, a, like a hat tie or something. You can correct me down below in the comments. But it's very cool. And there's more trinkets. This is a Navajo style, Navajo made stamp work and very traditional. Most Southwest tribal silver work has Spanish influences. Love all this stuff. This is where you get some really, really interesting culture and stuff. Jewelry and trinkets like that. Beautiful. Let me just zoom in on that so you can see it better. Focus rather. Look at that. That is very cool. Again, it looks like some kind of buckle 
with a lace that goes around something and ties because it's got these ends on it. Um, I, like a, again, I want to say it's like a hat buckle, a hat secure, like a cowboy hat buckle or something. I'm not hundred percent sure, but that is that is awesome. I love that. Very very cool. You can smell the leather on it as well. Very very well thought out to get these these pieces sent over, all the way to Scotland. I will keep these forever, um, and will you know always collect things like this um, and keep them displayed, um, and use them as well if I can. But wow. Beautiful. And there's also a card in here from the person that made these. Ray Duck. Anybody wants to send this to Ray? Um, I just want to say your work is incredible and I love it. Starbucks says on here. It is, oh that's lovely, I love this. This is a Starbucks mug from New Mexico. Look at that. It's got the whole thing on there, the whole picture of the local area, uh, and it's beautiful. And I love, I love mugs. I like collecting mugs. I like big mugs, so I can get a lot more coffee in them. Basically, bringing it out of the box, you can see there's so much detail in this, which is pretty cool for a Starbucks cup. The cactus state. There you go. Not sure what this is, but it's quite chunky. Oh. Wow, look at that. That is a wooden, no, bamboo, cutting and serving board with lots of New Mexico famous things on it, like horses and bears and monuments, Las Vegas, Santa Fe, all the rest of it. That is awesome. Thank you so much for sending this. This is so cool. I absolutely love it. And this is actually really useful and something that I will be keeping really, really good and, and use it for special occasions for sure. This is really like a box with lots of other boxes inside it. And lots of very cool stuff. New Mexico wax. Could this be a candle? That is the smell of New Mexico. Mmm, smells delicious, I haven't even lit in it. It smells great. This is a candle containing chili pepper, nutmeg, cactus, and also has notes of clove, musk, sandalwood, Cedarwood and bay leaf. Very, very cool. That is the whole box. I've got a lot of stuff here to get through. You no, know, everything from chopping boards to lots and lots of reading material. All the different nut snacks. Beef jerky, which is, you know, the taste of America. And of course the coffee and the, all the other amazing stuff. Maple syrup. I will be eating this stuff and trying it for quite some time. So I just wanna say a big shout out and a special thank you to Michelle from Santa Fe for sending all this amazing stuff. It's really thoughtful and it's gonna give me a bit of a picture and a taste and a sense of Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I definitely wanna come out there now and come and visit you and say thanks. And to all the people who have sent me all the amazing stuff over the last few years. Um, it has been you know, truly amazing, especially during the lockdown period. Hugely appreciate it. And it's not the only box I've had from New Mexico, but I actually had a couple from there. So. New Mexico, as a state, is taking quite a high lead in the list of priority of places that I need to come and visit. Along with other places where I've had quite a lot of boxes from as well, but this is just awesome, really cool, love it. Michelle, thank you again very much for the thought and sending all this stuff, uh, very much appreciated, and all the people who have sent me stuff over the last while. It was great, like I said, it's gonna give me a really good flavor of America um, and all the places that I need to come and visit. But that is it for today's video. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to open this at the end of it, you know, I've been in Brazil for the last um, month now, or just over a month, and to come home to this is like a really, really special and nice surprise, so, you know, great. I just, you know, like I said, I love doing this YouTube channel because of these connections that I build with you guys who watch from all around the world. It is really, really special and means a lot to me. So, thank you again, that's all I can say. And 
until the next adventure, whenever that will be, hope you guys have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.